Okay. Um, agenda item number 7C is the replacement of the jail fire alarm system in buildings one and two. <coughs> Mr. Fletcher, or Chad, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, what I'm presenting this morning is the replacement of the jail fire alarm systems in building 001 and 002. Uh, the fire alarm system that is located in building 001, which is the old main jail, and 002, which is pods A and B, that's the two older pods, is obsolete and staff cannot obtain parts for the system for repairs. The system failed the last fire alarm inspection by the state fire marshal inspector. Uh, staff submitted a plan of correction to the state fire marshal and the plan was approved as long as jail staff was placed on fire watch. Uh, the plan is to replace the existing system with an FCI system, which is a fire control instruments. Uh, and it was also constructed in phases one and two uh, projects. This will allow for one central fire control center for all buildings. Uh, staff contacted Valdosta Technical Systems, uh, who is the only FCI dealer in Valdosta or any surrounding area. Uh, and they met with the fire alarm inspector for the state and he uh, went over the project. Uh, we then called FCI to make sure that Valdosta Technical Systems was the only dealer in the area. Uh, and you have that in your package, I believe. <coughs> the closest one is Brunswick. There's also one in Augusta and one in Columbus and the Atlanta area. Uh, the Technical Systems submitted a proposal to staff of $269,990 to produce the drawings <coughs> and for the labor materials to replace the fire alarm system. Uh, county staff and jail staff would like to move forward with the Technical Systems to replace the fire alarm system. Okay. The money is coming from SPLOS 6 and it's coming from savings used uh, from the return of phase two construction uh, from Peter Brown. Okay, do we have any questions for Mr. McLeod? Chad, if, um, if we approve this, what's the estimated time for, of completion for this project? Uh, Walter, who is boss of the technical systems, said it would take him anywhere from three to six months. That's to get the drawings through the state fire marshal's office and to complete the work. Uh, obviously, that time would be shorter the faster the plans are approved by the state fire marshal's office. Mr. Chairman, uh, maybe I missed it. Uh, is this the new new jail or the old jail? This is the old jail. I was under the impression the old jail, we, we, I didn't know we had any plans for the old jail, to be honest with you. The plan is to utilize the old jail along it, with the new jail? My understanding is it's being utilized now. It is being utilized now, currently. There, uh, were, there are two pods that um, are currently in use, and the plans are to for those to remain in use. Uh, if the commission in the future determines to build additional pods, uh, which the, are designed, um, then it would be what they would be able to eliminate the use of those at some point in time but based on the numbers of inmates at this time we have to use both the new construction as well as the newest of the old construction I guess is the best way to describe it that's correct and, and also building zero zero uh, one which is the old main jail it also includes some some of the courtrooms and some of the old blockade uh, as well as they have storage in there and other staff as well at this point. That's fine. I, I didn't know we was going to the old Okay. Any other questions for Mr. McClellan? All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. 